Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make pineapple peel juice and also hibiscus juice. Now pineapple peel juice has a lot of benefits and many more times, many times you throw it away but today you can know how to use it for juice especially if you're a healthy person so welcome to my kitchen. With your pineapple peeling there are different ways to have it for juice. You can put it, you can mix it with uh, hibiscus which we have here that we're going to do today. That's one of the ways. This is rosella. Another way is you can put this with, um, with ginger. You can mix it with grated ginger. And the third one is with cinnamon. So depending on if you want to serve it hot or cold, if you want it as juice or as a tea. So with cinnamon, it will be as a tea, but with all the other things, it will be as juice. So this is guru, it's jaggery. And we're going to use this instead of sugar. Remember your pineapple is clean, so you can use just right about all of it because we'll get to sieve it later, so it doesn't matter. Right here, right here. So now I'll cut the second pineapple. For the hibiscus and pineapple flavored juice. You boil it for about 15 to 20 minutes, also depending on the flame, and you will see if it's turning, say, pale brown. Put the rosella inside. You can boil it longer, it can't burn, so unless the water all evaporates. So you could always leave it longer. You can stay as long as possible. It doesn't get it doesn't get bitter or anything. It's safe, so don't worry about it. Also, put some cinnamon into say a little cup so that we have the tea. And then we can have a taste of it and see how it turns out. Mmm. It actually tastes nice. This is the tea. Here we go. When you peel the pineapple, you don't have to use it immediately and boil it that particular time. Put it in a container, put it in um, anything that you can store it in and just toss it in the freezer. Store it there. When you're ready to boil it, when you have your visitors, put it on the fire. Okay. And ta-da! We're done.